Demonstration judge will be covered in this presentation. Some precincts will combine these responsibilities. Items that will be covered include how to find forms and instructions to perform these tasks, how to determine which ballot style a voter should receive, ballots must be initialed by two election judges, all ballot shrink wrap packs must be counted and tallied, secrecy covers should be available. Additional items include how to demonstrate marking a ballot, how to exchange a ballot if a voter makes a mistake, a voter can use a voting booth, the auto mark, or a table. Returning materials. This is a sample of polling place setup. Your polling place should be set up to ensure voters move sequentially from one station to another with ease. At the voter's request, two election judges from different major political parties may help mark the ballot. When assisting, be sensitive to their specific needs, avoid influencing how they vote, do not give advice or reveal how they voted. Direct all questions to the voter, not to others with them. Help only as much as requested. A voter may have assistance from others of their choosing. The assistant may help the voter in the polling place, including the voting booth. The exceptions are an agent of their employer cannot assist the voter. A union or candidate cannot assist the voter. An assistant can only physically mark ballots for a maximum of three voters for each election. They may provide other forms of assistance apart from physically marking the ballots. If an assistant has marked the ballot on behalf of the voter, the voter may show it to an election judge privately to confirm it is correctly marked before placing it in the tabulator. More information can be found in the election judge guide. Your head judge will assign each election judge a task to perform on election day. If you are the ballot or demonstration judge, you will be given the ballot and demonstration judge bag. This bag includes instructions and privacy folders. Step-by-step -step instructions to perform the tasks of ballot and demonstration judge are included in your supply bag. If you have multiple school district ballots, you will need to verify the correct ballot is given to the voter by locating the school district number at the bottom of each ballot, usually found in the middle column. NS means no school. Ballots must be initialed at the top of each ballot. We recommend that you number your voter receipts right away when received from the voter. A spindle is sometimes used to place them on during the day. You may want to count them periodically during the day and bundle them in groups of 25. After you have determined the voter's ballot and has been initialed, hand the voter their ballot. Secrecy folders should be available. However, the voter is not required to take a secrecy folder. Do not place ballots inside them. We recommend that an ample supply of ballot packs are open and initialed at 6 a.m. Should you need more ballot packs open during the day, alert your head judge. The head judge will assign two election judges to initial the ballots. See instructions on the ballot count log for completing this task. All ballot packs that are open must be counted. The election day ballot count log will be located in the head judge supply bag. Each shrink wrap pack is weighed and contains 100 ballots. If the count is over 100 or under 100, write the difference in the discrepancy column. If the count matches 100, write 0. After you have taken the voter's receipt, numbered the receipt, verified the school district and handed the voter their ballot, you will either give the instructions for marking the ballot or direct them to the demonstration judge. Use the ballot secrecy folder to instruct voters on marking their ballot. Instruct the voter to completely fill in the OVO next to the candidate, question, or write-in of their choice. Always show the voter both sides of the ballot. Instruction sheets are taped inside the voting booths. If the voter chooses to use the auto mark, refer them to the equipment judge. 
Never point to a candidate or a question on a ballot if you are demonstrating how to mark a ballot. As an election judge on election day, you are not allowed to share political opinions with anyone. That means voters, co-election judges, candidates, and even the maintenance staff. You are not allowed to discuss information regarding a candidate or a ballot question. The one thing safe to talk about is the weather. Voters may ask if they need to vote for all races and questions on the ballot in order for their selected votes to count. The answer is no. Many voters just vote for one race. Inform the voter what they mark will be counted. In a state partisan primary, a ballot may contain a partisan and a nonpartisan side. On the partisan side, explain to the voter they cannot cross over. They are voting by party or one column only. If needed, refer the voter to the Notice to Primary Voters poster. If the voter makes a mistake, they should return to the ballot judge and place the ballot with the mistake in the spoiled ballot envelope. You will give the voter a new ballot. Spoiled ballots are inserted into the envelope by the voter. Count or keep track of how many ballots are being placed in this envelope. Make hash marks on the outside of the envelope. Do not write anything on the ballot or alter the ballot from its original content. This would include tearing, ripping, writing on the ballot. You are exchanging a ballot for a ballot. Do not give the voter a new receipt for the new ballot. Direct the voter to an open voting booth. Or to the auto mark. Or to a table. Instruct the voter after they have voted their ballot to proceed to the M100 ballot tabulator. Tell them to make sure their ballot has been accepted. They should pause at the ballot tabulator after inserting their ballot to verify their ballot has been accepted and not rejected. A message on the ballot tabulator screen will display the number of ballots before and after a ballot has been accepted. The instant log would be used to record anything that needs to be brought to the attention of Blue Earth County Elections. If you think you should write it down, do so. Let your head judge know of any incidents as they occur. Do not wait until the end of the day or the day after the election. At the end of the night, give your head judge your incident log. If you are fortunate enough not to have any incidents, write none across the form. In this section, we will be discussing what and where to return items. Count and record the number of ballots that have been placed in this envelope. This count is needed on your summary statement worksheet. Sign over the flap of the spoiled ballot envelope. A minimum of three signatures is required. Return this envelope in your blue bag. Information from the ballot count logs must be transferred to your summary statement worksheet. This will also be covered in the closing of the polls presentation. The ballot count logs are returned in envelope A. Return all unused items in your ballot and demonstration judge bag. After counting and bundling the used voter receipts, return them in the plastic bag labeled used voter receipts. Place this bag in the blue equipment bag. For precincts with a high volume of ballots, you may see ballots delivered in boxes too. All unused ballots for Mankato are placed in the blue bag labeled unused ballots or the boxes they were delivered in and placed back where the supplies were at opening. Cities and townships, keep your unused ballots until we notify you to recycle. Things learned from this training. Instructions and ballot secrecy folders are in the judge supply bag. Voter receipts are color-coded for registered and non-registered voters. Ballots must be initialed by two election judges. Ballots received must be counted. The election day ballot count log must be completed. Additional items include 
Have secrecy folders available. Ballots should never be placed inside a secrecy cover. Never point to a candidate or question on the ballot. Never discuss the ballot content. Use your spoiled ballot envelope when a voter makes a mistake and wants to exchange their ballot. The used envelopes are sealed, signed, and returned in the blue bag. Voters can use the automark, a voting booth, or a table to vote on. Non-voted ballots and unopened ballot packs need to be included on the ballot log. Unopened packs are counted as 100. Non-voted ballots for Mankato are returned to the secured storage area were found in the morning. Outside of Mankato, keep your unused ballots until you are told to recycle them. Ballot log completed forms are returned in the blue bag. Used voter receipts are returned in the used voter receipt bag. Instructions and ballot secrecy folders are returned in the judge supply bag. If you have questions regarding this presentation or on election day, please contact us by phone or email.